Okay, so for those of you who are wondering how to get the factory fit stereo out of an MGF, um, I put the original one back in when I'm going to a car show. Um, and when I come back from the car show, I put the aftermarket one back in with the Bluetooth and all that sort of stuff. Makes life a bit easier. Um, but this is how we do it. Um, I did see on a forum once, how do you get the little clips off that? Well, these things, you can either get your finger in and pop them out. Or you can just use a small flathead screwdriver um, just to pop them out instead. They literally just pop out. Um, if you bring one in a little bit closer, you'll see. There we go. There's a little... Have my camera focus. There's a little indentation right on that side. There. You just put your fingernail underneath it and just flip it open, pop it out. When you've done that, you need a very small Allen key. One perhaps a little bit like this one. And that will go in. One on that side and one on that side. As soon as you unscrew it, it releases the stereo from the back and you can quite simply just pull it out. There's no cage in there or anything like that at all like you get with aftermarket stereos. You just loosen these off and pull them out. I'll just leave this video running while I do it so you can just see there's no trickery in here whatsoever. That's one. And the second one, got a bit of an angle. And there we go. Bit of an angle, but nothing wild. But if you ever want to put it back in, always make sure you've got the code first. Um, I'm lucky to still have the service manual for mine, um, so I can actually still use that. And I'm just going to have to pause just for a second. So I'm going to do is put my finger in this side, over here, same on the other side, and just pull the stereo out. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, so I've now sort of half pulled it out for you already. Um, if you sort of like just giving a pull on the sides inside here, one finger on one side, one finger on the other, if it's not coming out, just keep unscrewing the Allen keys, uh, the Allen, crew, Allen, Allen key screws, um, because it just means you haven't got it undone far enough, because actually you will slacken these off and you can quite literally just pull it out. Like so, in the back of here you'll see aerial wire. And then the plugs. Simple as you've got a switch, a little clip down here, just pop one off, same with the other side, and the aerial wire just pulls out. Pause it again for a minute so I can actually pull them out. So before I forget, in terms of getting these out, just push that in like that, same with the other one. So don't pull it out towards you, push it in, and then they will quite simply just pop out. I've done one already. It's not easy doing this one-handed, <laughs> but if you just push it in, it will pop out. Okay, and as simple as that, that's now out. Um, it's up to you um, if you want to write the code for your stereo on top of it. Um, I haven't, so I've got my book to one side anyway, which is all safely packed away in a box. But come and practice with the old-fashioned stereos. I was literally just to write the code on top there, just in case you ever do lose the book. Um, and I put in the aftermarket one in. Um, is as simple as just plugging into the two clips there. In terms of the aerial, um, most of the time you have to have a little, of adap little adapter. You can pick them up from like you know, Halfords or whatever, you can order one on eBay or something like that, but they're quite literally one of these. And it just pushes into the pin that's on there, which then pushes into the back of the aftermarket stereo. So if you look at the back of that one there, compared to the back of this one, the aerial port sticks out on this one and it's inside on this one. So all I've just done is just pop the cage back in there, um, push the little metal bits back in to secure it in place, top, bottom, sides, I'll push those round and it just locks it in place, keeps the stereo secure. Um, and it's just simply a case of, as I say, just Popping the wires back in here, popping the aerial lead on there. Um, so I've put the attachments in there already. There it is. Dead simple. Just pushes in. Then the aerial wire just goes on the back of it. You can't actually get these the wrong way around because these plugs only go into the back of the stereo one way. 
to then think, what happens if I put the, you know, the one part in the wrong part or whatever? You can't do that. It'd be absolutely fine. I'll connect it up and show you what it looks like again. And then simply that uh, area wires on that side, plugged on this side. And then with a bit of wiggle and force, that one will pop straight in there. I say it's only a cheap aftermarket one, but it's got videos and stuff on there and MP3s and whatnot. Um, mostly it's just little videos on there for my little one when we're sat in the school playground waiting to go in. Um, but yeah, give me a sec. There we go, with a bit of a wiggle, with a tight fit. But, in it goes. It's as simple as that. 